Well, here we are on the Sea of Galilee today, and I want to introduce you to a friend of mine. Uh, this is Chewbacca, the windsock. Uh, basically, I've had to change mic covers because it's so blustery out here. The reason it's blustery is behind you, there is a uh, huge valley which siphons wind from the west. And it comes funneling off the Mediterranean Sea through the mountains and hits the Sea of Galilee here. In the right season, when it meets the wind coming from the other direction, you get these huge swells here. They've recorded swells of over three meters in height. That's nine feet waves. So when you hear the story of uh, the fishermen in the boat totally freaking out in the storm, you know, fish fishermen, they're the kind of guys, they're quite used to rough weather. They're not a bunch of wussies. And so when these tough, rough guys are really in fear for their lives, you know it was a bad, bad storm on the sea here. And that's the time when Jesus is asleep in the bow of the boat. It's amazing, isn't it? How he has total peace when they have total fear. I think a lot of that peace was because he knew to whom he belonged. He was the son of the Most High. God was his, God was his father. God was going to protect him. And because of that, he had peace in the storm. And because he had peace in the storm, he had authority over the storm. You know, there is a a huge challenge to us when we face spiritual challenges of many kinds and that's because when we pray out of fear or anxiety we almost um, disagree that God is able to do it because our fear is actually worship of the wrong God our anxiety is worship of the wrong God and yet Jesus knew who his father was he knew his father would not allow anything to happen to him in that moment and so he could sleep peacefully. And so I just want to challenge you. You know, if you're, you find yourself um, functioning out of anxiety, out of fear, it says that perfect love, perfect love of the Father, as mediated to us by the Holy Spirit, is what drives out fear. And when fear goes, we have peace. And when we have peace, we can act with authority and trust that those prayers will be answered. Have a good day.